Hi there. I'm sorry. In honor of American Heart Month, Baptist Health is offering tips to be heart healthy with exercise, even in a pandemic. And joining me to share some of those tips is Lisa Groff with Baptist Health Milestone Wellness Center. Thank you so much for talking with me today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, until recently, we've all been slipping around on the snow and ice, but is it true that during winter, most people also let their health habits slip as well? Absolutely, especially throughout the holidays because we have so many places where we're going and family that we're seeing and th other things become a priority besides our health. And what are the implications of letting our healthy habits slip for a little for a little while? So the biggest thing is your energy levels are going to be way down when you're not taking care of your health. If you're eating bad and you're not exercising, your energy levels are so low. And we know all of the health problems that can happen over time without exercising, but just a couple of months or a couple of weeks without exercise, that doesn't necessarily happen, but you'll definitely notice a decrease in your energy levels. And that's big for people. They'll reach for caffeine. They'll start eating more sugar just to try to replace that energy. And that's not the way to do it. We need to exercise and get back into cardio to get healthy again. And it really is like a slippery slope. You, you, you feel lack of energy, you're using caffeine and stuff, and it's just over time it does, it builds up and just makes you feel worse and worse. It really does. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's talk about exercise. What is good exercise and how can we get it? So, of course, when we're talking about cardiovascular exercise, most people are going to think of the easy things like walking or running. And, of course, those are good for everybody to do. If you're able, you can get out and walk or go for a jog. Um, but if not, you can always ride a bike. You can use an elliptical type machine at a, at a gym. There's so many things that you can do that are considered cardiovascular exercise. So the key, though, is to make sure that you're doing it for certain lengths of time and you don't want to just do, you know, five minutes here or there. I would say a minimum of 10 minutes at a time and trying to get that in a couple of times a day, uh, two to three times a day to start would be good at, like I said, 10 minute intervals. That's a little bit more achievable than trying to do all of it at once. Okay, so I've been doing like where I'll hula hoop, I'll do weights and hula hoop, but I mean, it gets my heart rate. I mean, is that a, a decent in-home exercise? Absolutely it is. I love how people have had to kind of think outside the box during this time and really do things that you wouldn't normally think of as cardio, like hula hoop or even walking up and down your stairs in your house, things like that. It's yeah, we've all had to get a little bit creative. Now, I think that motivation is something that a lot of us, myself included, struggle with. What types of things can help with motivation? Oh, that's that's the big question that I always get. So a couple of things. Number one, get a workout partner who is either as motivated or more motivated than you, not somebody who's less motivated. And you can also um, join a gym and go to classes. That's going to be motivating because you have that accountability of your friends are waiting for you, the instructor is waiting for you. Also, you could hire a personal trainer. They're gonna hold you accountable. That's, you know, I always jokingly say, if it wasn't for lack of motivation, I wouldn't have a job because that's what I do is motivate people to get to the gym and get a good workout in. And now for anyone who maybe lives alone, can't see their friends right now, a dog is a fantastic workout partner. Seriously, they are always excited to get out there and hit the streets. Absolutely. So actually, one of our members yesterday just told me she got a dog to encourage her to get out and exercise more. So she's been walking her dog. And then I, I got a puppy a couple of months ago and she is full of energy. So yeah, she keeps me on my toes and she wants to exercise and play fetch. So it makes me get out and get more active as well. So yeah, dog is a great workout partner. It's a lot of work, but it's a great workout partner. Yes, it's, just, it's worth it though, because the love you get in return, that is so awesome. And if yeah. people want to learn more about Baptist Health and Baptist Health Milestone, where's the best place to go? So you can visit baptisthealth.com to see what the hospital has to offer and baptistmilestone.com to see what our gym has to offer. Fantastic. Lisa, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it.